in this video assignment number two we'll be looking at the capacitance of the structure which is a coaxial cable and this coaxial cable has an inner conductor of radius a and an outer conductor of radius c and in between these conductors are two dielectrics of different permittivities epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 and a couple things to know is that the permittivities for each of these dielectrics are already multiplied by epsilon naught and another and the second thing to know are these equations we need to address so rho s is the surface charge density which is just the total charge over the over the surface area of a, of the cylinder with p as a radius which is varying and also the the capacitance equation and the electric field equation and the electric boundary conditions and the potential difference which is the integral of the electric field so and the and the third thing to know is that the current would be flowing in the eighth a row direction which is outward so it would go through each of these different uh, re uh, each of these different layers of the coaxial cable which suggests that the all boundaries are would be normal to each other because of the direction of this current so the first step would be to define the boundary conditions and I chose boundary 0 to be between the two dielectrics here and it is said that the electric flux density d1 d is is uh, normal components of the electric flux density would be equal to each other so I equated the electric flux densities between these two regions and I put it uh, in terms of electric fields and I found that electric fields would be different in each of the if each of in each of the of the dielectrics which also suggests that the vol potential differences would be different so this would suggest that this represents a capacitors in series and um, and which is using this equation I can find a capacitance and boundary uh, boundary one I define as the inner conductor and the first dielectric and the electric flux density of a metal or conductor is zero because no electric field is inside the metal so using the normal electric boundary conditions I found this formula electric flux density in the a row direction is equals to the surface charge density and I, I made substitutions to put it in terms of electric fields and rho s in terms of charge and surf and the surface area of a cylinder and I found this equation which is uh, charge over two over the surface area of a cylinder times the uh, electric permittivities for electric permittivity one and using the same step as above I did the same for boundary two which is the outer conductor in the second dielectric and I found this equation for the electric field in the second dielectric which is just uh, the same formula but it's now with uh, of the uh, it's now permittivity two and the second step would be to find the potential drops or potential differences at the dielectrics using equation 5 which is just the integral of electric field we found above and I ended up with the equation here um, so we know that the uh, dielectric 1 covers the region between radius a and b and I found this general equation for for the potential difference and using the same step above I found the potential differences at the dielectric 2 and then the third step would be to find capacitance in each region using equation two and equation and um, and equation two is just capacitance is equals to charge over potential drop and I found this general formula for the for the capacitance in region in the electric one and using the same step I found the capacitance for the region for the dielectric two and to find the total capacitance we use the series capacitance formula which is just the inverse of the of the capacitance and sum them and then another take the inverse again and using that process I found the total capacitance to be this equation I think that's all what the question was asking and thank you for your time and 
have a, have a good rest of your day.